Welcome to Switch Comics. My name is Marco. I'm Chris. And today, we got a pretty regular stack, I'd say, for us. Uh, one thing is going to be a little surprising in this stack, but uh, uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. We'll, we'll, yeah, it'll be a surprise a little bit later on. Uh, a little different for us, but let's go ahead and move on. So we have Hulk number nine here, introducing this uh, new Power Rangers looking villain. Um, I don't know. I don't know if she's a villain or, or whatever in the comic. Uh, she looks like a villain. <laughs> Did you read it? I tell you, that. yeah. Okay, but, I mean, she's introduced, yeah. but we don't really know what she's Is about. This the first yeah. appearance. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I like this one. It was really good. Yeah, yeah. No, no. So again, if y'all was that last week or week before, or there's a Thor. I think it was last week. Read the yeah. Thor comic. But it wasn't written by Donny Cates, and that was a big letdown. So it's, it is. It was worried too. I, that was the first thing I flipped it open. And I was like, "Okay, Donny Cates." Uh, I made sure. Uh, we also picked up the Predator variant. A uh, pretty cool cover, but I gotta say, a Hulk is going to devastate a Predator. If Schwarzenegger can beat a Predator, a Hulk's going to. Schwarzenegger didn't beat it in hand-to-hand -hand combat, though. Eh. I feel like he probably Literally wouldn't. dropped a log on its skull. If a log can defeat a predator, a Hulk is going to destroy it. Anyway, it was a good book. Uh, it was a, a big log. A little... <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little slower, but it's setting up uh, a, a big new thing that's... I don't really even know what's all going on exactly. But it's like... Plus uh, that predator wasn't the, like the beefy predator from pre uh, Alien vs. Predator. Those what about, things were What buff. about the predator? The Predator? <laughs> the really big one? Yeah. Honestly, that thing? Yeah. It ain't fighting the Hulk. Anyway. Um, it was strong. There was some cool mental stuff going on with, with uh, Bruce. Bruce Banner. Um, well, I wanted to say Bruce, but I also just got done reading Batman. And I was like, Bruce isn't the right name. That's a Batman. <laughs> Bruce is a Batman. <laughs> but, Batman. Anyway. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, some cool mental things going on with, with Bruce. But then also setting up a new part of the story. You know, we're done with... Because uh, this is the first one right after uh, Banner of War, right? Yeah. So setting up everything. Uh, and it's it's interesting. Um, but... Yeah, that's all I got without really... I can't really talk about anything without spoiling it, but... Um, did you read these? I read Star Fox. Okay, so... Uh, uh, Axe, Star Fox... Uh, this is B cover, right? It might just something. be that I don't care about Star Fox, but it's so okay. So okay. Yeah, alright, well... No need to linger on that one then. Did you read this one? Yeah. Okay, which, first of all... A mate, probably my favorite cover of the week. This awesome, awesome art, Adam's uh, Storm. And it's the... I just, I don't know, I like the outfit and everything. It's just really cool, uh, Storm. Um, what'd you think of X-Men? Um, Axe X-Men. This time it was Jean Grey's judgment. We only really get to see half of it. Oh. Today, Jean Grey, I will halfway judge you. I have an appointment later on. Uh, I hope this isn't too inconvenient for you. Got a lot of judging to do. I, uh, well, I, I have a lot of judging to do, but also I, I wasn't planning... And I also have a dentist appointment later this afternoon, so I, I hope you understand. He doesn't have teeth. I have. He has several eyes. I have an, an opto eye exam. optologist. Is that what they are? Yeah. Eye doctor. Yeah, I'm going to the eye, eye doctor. Anyway, <laughs> you didn't read this one, right? Huh? No. Uh, no I neither I did I. I. I'm also behind on it. Uh, but amazing, uh, this is, the, I think, the finale, number five for Jane Foster, uh, The Mighty Thor, or whatever this book is called. Is that right? Jane Foster, The Mighty Thor. Okay, I got it right. Awesome Momoko Enchantress cover. Uh, all the covers, the Momoko covers on this series have been awesome. I really like this one. You don't see the Enchantress too often, so that was fun. And then, didn't read this one as well, right? Nope, I haven't read number one of this one yet. Savage Avengers, number to, six. Got Anti-Venom. Doing some stuff there. And then, I, funnily enough, I have two of this next book, and neither one of us read it, right? Or did nope. you? All right? Okay, didn't. I didn't read it. So, picked up the new Spider-Man number one. I was uh, and then I decided, I don't want to. Of course, you know. Got to grab the uh, Art Adams book. And then I also decided to pick up a blank one, because I've been picking up blank books, and uh, why not? So, I figured just a, a nice blank one that you know, says Spider-Man, you know. Sure. Um, I didn't read this one right. Nope. First appearance of Web Weaver, Edge of Spider-Verse 5? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, 
This is the B cover as well. I thought yeah. it looked better than the A cover. A cover was okay, but I thought that was a pretty cool looking cover. And then, is this... I'm also behind okay. in Captain America. Did you put the other one somewhere else? I don't know. I couldn't find it. Hmm. I don't, I don't think we picked it up. I told you to put it in the folder. I anyway. did. Weird. You know, I put it in, because we have two folders now. Oh, you put it in the other folder. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Captain America, one of the liberties or something, I don't know. Um, number five, Chris didn't read it. <laughs> nope. And then Mandalorian number four, we picked up this awesome Momoko. A lot of really cool covers this week. Yeah. But this cute little girl. like gross stuff, but... Yeah, look at him. I love this cover. It is super, super nice. I like it a lot. Not reading that one, um, but... Yeah, whatever. I'm going to pick up the covers, I guess. I did, however... Oh, so... Um, that's it for... We did Marvel and Star Wars, which is not a lot. Uh, and especially... Well, a lot of that was, kind of a was light covers. Week. In a way, uh, before we get into our DC, which the surprise is... Um, a lot of DC for us, anyway. Like, that's, that's a lot of DC. Anyway. Um, I wanted to show off that I, uh, I have done some new keychains... So I have, uh, I'll be posting these to Instagram probably pretty soon. Uh, but just want to show you all some of the new ones. Got Avengers 48, first uh, Black Knight, or yeah, first Black Knight, uh, for, or Dane Whitman Black Knight. Uh, we did, I uh, already had Fantastic Four 48, so I did 50 as well as 49 to complete the trilogy. And then I also did, sorry if that's loud, that's right next to the microphone, but Secret Wars 8. Got some Spider-Man ones here. So I got Secret Wars 8. I did 252. And Spider-Man 2099, number one. And then I did some DC ones. So we got... Uh, DC Showcase 22, first appearance of Green Lantern. And House of Secrets 92, first appearance of Swamp Thing. And uh, to keep in theme with the horror, we also got. The Halloween horror. Yeah. It's October. I know. I know I, well, it, with it being October, I was like, I need to do some, some more horror ones. And uh, so I got Man Thing number one. You need to have Shrek number one. Super excited. Uh, this week is, well, actually, really good week for, um, shows and stuff anyway, because we have, today is Andor, and then tomorrow is She-Hulk, and then the next day is going to be, uh, Marvel World Spotlight. by Night, which, by the way, Marvel Spotlight number two. First appearance of Werewolf by Night. So, uh, yeah, got all those. If you're interested in any of them, uh, just hit me up on, uh, Instagram. The only They're one that matters. Five dollars a piece. He needs to show up in an end credit scene and just start throwing moons at him. Just throwing oh. moons at him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about just that. But throwing them. Anyway, so moving on to That's our... the last time we see Moon Knight and World by Night in the entire MCU. We never see him again. <laughs> um, Doesn't have... even, like, resolve itself. He's just throwing moons at him. Our DC, we have Poison Ivy, number five. Uh, picked up the A cover, as well as this really fun, I don't know, C cover, D cover, something like that. Cover. It's a cover. But I really like this one. It's a lot of fun. Uh, this story has been pretty solid. Um, I thought this was going to be the finale, but uh, maybe there's one more issue. Because uh, it definitely did not end. <laughs> uh, but pretty cool. Uh, I thought it usually says, like, Sometimes it of... does, sometimes it doesn't. Comics do what they want to do. But I've been really liking them. You didn't read this one, right? Nope. I think we're past... Are we past the books I've read? I don't know. Uh, no? no. Yeah, we have one more for me. Anyway... Gotham City Year One decided to pick up another new uh, uh, DC book. Marco started into a Batman boy. Eh, and this isn't really Batman. Um, Batman boy. Um, no, uh, our boss Shay recommended it. He read it and said it was, it was pretty good. And it's pretty cool. It was a nice little uh, detective story um, predating. It's, it's, it's weird. It's, it's Year One, but like. Your, like, negative one? I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Because, like, Gotham City exists. So it's not the year one of Gotham City. Um, so I don't know. I think it's just... I think it's uh, kind of a weird title. I mean, name recognition of just... It, hey, it, year yeah. one's a book people know about. Let's slap year one on there. It is. It is. So I... 
I thought I was going to... I thought this was like, oh, the founding of Gotham or something is what I thought it was going to be, but no. Maybe it's the he, founding of its corruption. Uh, it's, yeah, it's probably more like that, but, uh, but anyway, because like the, the, you follow like a private investigator and he's like, living, living in Gotham's good, you know, blah, 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 you know, stuff like that, he's just talking it up. Um... Um, but anyway, so till like the Joker moved in, <laughs> <laughs> everything was fine till the Joker moved in. Anyway, and then we have Batman. Di- so you didn't read this one? Nope. Batman one behind on that. Are you? Yep. Oh, it's been pretty good. I've been really enjoying the so Batman one twenty eight. You know, we we picked well. I picked up at one twenty five, uh, the start of uh, Zdarsky's run, uh, and also the introduction Ugh. of Failsafe, which. Slight spoilers into the run, I guess, but uh, basically, Batman designed a f- literal failsafe in case he ever went over the line, and if he ever killed someone, then failsafe were to come to kill him. Um, and so, so why it's got bad ears? It's basically another Batman, but he's a really powerful robot. And he's, like, designed to fight everybody and, like, I don't know. It, it's it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm digging like, it. He just this, he's like, hey, I got this robot who's Batman now instead of me. I can go live <laughs> I'm a retiring. peaceful life. <laughs> I'm I, old uh, and grumpy. From that description, it feels like he could have just, he could just do that. Uh, no one's ever said that Batman is sane. Um, and if anything, this really hammers the point down. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's been a pretty solid run. I really enjoy it. Um, I think the way that, and I don't really want to spoil the last issue. Like, again, like, Failsafe was introduced in 125, so we're a few issues in now. I don't want to spoil the last issue, but the way that ended, I was like, oh, this is about to be resolved super easily, and it was not in this issue. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I'm, I feel like Superman could beat this thing up, right? That's what you may be inclined to believe, but like I said... This is Batman. All the knowledge of Batman into a really powerful robot. And I mean really powerful robot. Anyway, and then we have... What about two Superman? Oh, that might get him. Uh, (laughs) 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 Batman's like, I didn't know there was two. (laughs) But anyway, Sword of Asriel, number something. Uh, Chris uh, didn't read this one. I I haven't been reading this. I read Uh, the first one and liked it. What are we on? Number three? I uh, really like the cover on the, the second one for the B cover. That was really good. Nah. And then I read this one a while back. Uh, Chris got to read, read it tonight. I nearly had to beat him to read it. He wouldn't read it. It's about a cute, lovable, but also murdering robot. And I thought this was right up Chris's alley, and he was like, mom, I'm grumpy. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I am grumpy. I'm junkyard tired. Joe. Um, I'm always tired. I'm always grumpy. I love this book. I thought it was super, super solid. Again, I, I've read it. up to issue three. Um, and I think... I think this issue's solid. Issue two is solid. But to me, issue three is the one that, like, got me. You know what I mean? Uh, so, if you re- if you uh, decide to read Junkyard Joe... False um, advertisement, no snow. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> throw it away. If you decide to read Junkyard Joe, which I highly recommend, it's set in the Geiger universe... You don't need to... Like, Chris didn't read Geiger, although he should. I read should. one thing of Geiger. Oh, did you? There was something in the Geiger universe you told me to read. Well, it's only been Geiger and Junkyard Joe now. No, there was something else. No. Had, like, a dog? A dog? Isn't that Geiger? Yeah, that's Geiger. Yeah, the two-headed yeah. dog? And then there was also... You read all of Geiger? No. Hold on, I'm not done. There was okay. also a lady. She had a... Uh, she was the head of a gang... Um, that's all I can remember. It was a multiple part book about different multiple people. Oh, so you might people. have read the Geiger uh, annual and oh no, whatever that was, giant size or whatever. Yeah, I read that. Weird. That's the ending of Geiger. Yeah, that's, uh, a, that's what you told me to read one day. I don't remember. And I read it anyway. Um, that introduces Junkyard Joe, but this is Junkyard Does Joe it? way back in the past. That. Yeah, he's in there briefly. Um, it's also got that like. Uh, the red coat. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna get, be getting something from him at some point. I don't know when, but uh, but anyway, Junkyard Joe really enjoyed it. You don't have to read Geiger. I highly recommend reading Geiger. It's a great story. Um, 
But uh, but yeah, it ties into that. Uh, but definitely, like this book, even you know three issues in has nothing to do with Geiger. Um, like I said, this also takes way pl- uh, in the past. Um, Geiger is a future story, and this actually uh, starts in, in Vietnam. And uh, really cool. Uh, there's, like I said, even three issues in, there's lots of mystery into... I don't remember that like, annual or whatever, introducing Junkyard Joe. I'm pretty positive. I could no, be No, I mean, I, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I don't remember it. Anywho, really that recommend that. Uh, there's though. several covers of this book, uh, and they also all come in black and white. Those are the Veterans Edition. If you buy those, they uh, either partial or all of the funds. I forget. I'm sorry. Uh, but so it, an amount of the funds go to uh, Veterans Charities. So, um, yeah, if you want to help out in that regard. Um, and then the last book I have is Basilisk uh, number 12. I started reading this one, and then I was like, I don't know if I read the last one or I forgot how the last one ended because uh, it didn't seem familiar. So I need to go back and see if I didn't read some of them, maybe one or two or more. I don't know. I thought I was caught up on Basilisk, but apparently... Or maybe I am. I don't know, but I'm not anymore. So um, that's what we have tonight. We didn't decide what we're doing for you. Oh, well... No, hey, we got some things we're going to open yeah. up on stream. We got a, a Moon Knight. Yeah, we finally got in our... our uh, we have a, a Mr. Knight. And we got a She-Hulk. Yeah. That's it so far. We're going to get more eventually. This is just what we're going to open up. Yeah. We're going to open those up. Uh, Did we... Oh. Do you want to play Gundam? Maybe. I'm always down to play it, but like I don't know if it's a good stream game is my only thing. I'd like to give it a shot. Uh, see See what people think about it. Well, we're going to get super unlucky and, and fight like nothing but really, really good players. Yeah, well, it's just going to be awful. We're going to see <laughs> we'll how see. bad we really there, are. But anyway, there's a new game we called Gundam. We play Overwatch 2, but there's like a 40,000 wait time, 40,000 player wait time or something like that. Is there? Yeah, that's I, what I saw. There's like, you're 40,000th in the queue I, and for I, some I people, and it's like, oh. <laughs> oh, it is free now. That's yeah, true. Yeah, it is free. Yeah. And it's... Interesting. Been anyway, uh, Gundam Evolution is kind of like Overwatch, Overwatch for Gundams or, or with Gundams. Uh, Weeb Overwatch, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Weeb Watch. Weeb Watch. Weeb. Weeb. I don't know. I don't, I don't, this, this I, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of that the dog. You know. Don't Weeb 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 Weeb. Have you seen that? I don't. No, I got it. It's a husky. It's great. I anyway, the Weeble Weeble uh, so yeah, we'll probably play that tonight. Um, it's a really fun game. We've been, uh, been playing it here pretty regularly, um, and I'm a gun tank main, and it's pretty fun. So maybe you know, give an opportunity. And I don't think, I don't think you have to like Gundam to really play it. I, I think it's genuinely just a really fun game. Yeah. I compare it to Overwatch, but with a much more shooter centric focus. It's like a bridge between Call of Duty and Overwatch in a way. Kind of. Like, yeah. each character definitely has their own play styles and abilities and different things going on. And it plays like Overwatch. And, like, it's still like... But it's more individual-based, well, I'd say. Yeah. Um, but, like, and, like, the game modes minus plant the plant def- slash defuse the bomb. I don't think they have any of those game modes in Overwatch, to my no. recollection. Um, so that's in there, cl- classic, you know, um, and then, but like, you know, capture the objective, although this is more like, uh, I can't think of a game, but like the objective moves around and stuff, which is not like Overwatch, but anyway, a, a mix of some games and I think it's pretty fun and I don't know, I hope y'all enjoy it. If y'all want to hang out and chill with us and see what's going on and we'll take a little, little break well, at some point to some open up some figures. Um, and then, like I said, I got some new keychains, you know, so do what you do. Uh, I'll and be posting, I'll be, awake for it. I'll be posting some better pictures on Instagram of all these. Um, I think that's all I got for you though. Uh, hope you all, you know, are reading some cool books, whether it's something we're reading or something else entirely. There was a lot of books that came out this week. Um, that's all I got. Just rambling at this point. Um, uh, we will see you next time. Bye. Ah.